What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Hayden with State 48 Turtle and Tortoise and it has been a good long while since I've uploaded a video. Apologize for the shadows. This is Samson, the huge female sulcata. She's actually about 28 years old. Her name is Samson, but we've started calling her Sammy because, uh, well, we feel like that's a little bit better of a name for her since it's, she's a she. Anywho guys, I have not, well, I take it back. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. I have filmed so many videos in the past four months and just not uploaded them, but I'm gonna do a one take wonder today, film you guys a quick update video on the farm, let you know what's going on. And we're gonna jump right into it here in the State 48 Turtle and Tortoise Shed. These are the rack systems that we set up. I don't even know if I ever showed them off officially. We got a bunch of different het animals in here that were gifted to me. And then up here we have tortoises. Right there we got some holdbacks. We got a couple of albinos still available. A couple are shipping out next week. Um, the incubator is empty. It needs to be cleaned out. Nothing else in there is cooking. We got a whole group of charcoal and het charcoal ready your sliders if anyone's interested. The snake is getting huge. He's getting an upgrade into that tank soon or he's gonna get an upgrade into my backyard soon. Um, Little box turtles, I haven't showed these guys off in a while. They're super impossible to find because they bury themselves. These are some hybrid box turtles someone sent me a year or two ago. Doing phenomenal, they'll probably go outside this spring. The fish, I never really officially showed off the fish. We've got Duboise cichlids, Trophius Duboise. We've got one albino left, three females. And then down in this pond, we had kind of a mishap. A couple quarantine tanks set up right here. Long story short, galvanized tubs. Sometimes can have issues. I didn't know because I'm a novice to fish. Turtles, no problem. Goldfish, no problem. But zinc poisoning. I lost quite a few of the fish. This is what remains. There's a couple females in here. And our lone albino male, Trophius du Boise. Very rare fish. Hoping to at least produce some hets out of the females so I can further along that. These are some yearling, year and a half old. It's like you wouldn't think there's any in here. Um, charcoal and het charcoal from last year. But that's gonna be everything here in the shed. Samson's doing great, Champ is being a turd. We'll go see him right now. Um, yeah guys, I this is probably gonna be a quickish video, longish video. This is gonna be the tortoise's new heat house that they're gonna be uh, bunkering in this winter. Um, I got the siding, I'm building this thing on my own from scratch, so if you're a framer, don't look too close because I don't know what I'm doing. We got a slab poured, it slopes that direction. We're gonna put some white metal roofing on here. And what I'm gonna do is cut the fence here, build a wall right here. And then there's gonna be an opening on this side and an opening on this side for a future tortoise enclosure that's gonna go here. And then we'll divide the inside of the shed for the animals. But this thing's gonna be fully insulated, super duper nice. There's gonna be some cool build outs in here as well for baby tortoises to go on some shelving. Radio sliders are doing great, getting huge. Um, Here's Champ, he's gonna follow me the whole time. Albino sulcatas are doing great. This is my small female, getting massive. We've got them some Bermuda and alfalfa to nibble on to get bulked up this season. Grass is still doing great out here. My sprinkler system I mounted on the fence over there has been doing phenomenal. Um, here is good old Scarlet, the OG, my very first albino sulcata. You can tell she's got some good wear from breeding with the boys out here. This is my biggest male albino sulcata. He mounts a little bit, doesn't do a whole lot too successful. This is my smallest het albino male sulcata. He actually puts in the work, so, but he's kind of a turd. If you guys saw the videos recently, kind of a turd, but he, he puts in the work. Um, the trees and everything are doing good. I'll show you guys that in a second. These are weeping mulberries and the rooster is a, a rooster in. Let me show you guys this, guys. These mulberries, Pakistani mulberries. This is my grapevine. It got huge in one year, absolutely mind-blowing. Let me see if I can show you a leaf. Well, this isn't a great example, but because they, they are bigger ones. This mulberry tree puts in the work. It's not only gonna produce me a ton of mulberries next year, but I have been feeding these to the uh, baby albino sulcatas, and they absolutely love it. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm sure it'll be gone when I come back. Um, but yeah, albino sulcata is doing great. I gotta show you how big Jules has gotten. You guys know she's my unofficial favorite. Look at how big this albino sulcata is. I don't know if this does justice. She's an absolute beast. And look at those beautiful pink eyes. She's doing great. 
Got that perfect, imperfect scute pattern. Some of her babies produce the same thing. She's been getting bred really good. Hopefully fertility goes up. This is Elvis. He is the other head or the other albino sulcata that's a male. But uh, he's getting big as well, showing some interest in the girls. The rest of them are all hanging out under here for now in this smaller house until their mansion, the Taj Mahal, gets opened up for them. Um, my wife and I are not gardeners, but we decided we wanted to throw some seeds down. So threw a couple rows of soil on the ground, threw some lettuce in, carrots, just random junk that the uh, I'll be able to, we'll be able to eat ourselves, but the tortoises will be able to eat as well. So that's what's going on there, but I'm going to get cranking on the next video. You guys see this will for sure be done, 100%. But something really fun, guys, you guys know we love hatching babies here on the channel. So I'm going to show you Scarlet's baby. Scarlet was my first albino baby, albini, albino baby, and her baby was my first albino baby. And I want to show you how absolutely massive her baby has gotten. If I can find her in here, because she's going to be a hold back. Here's one that's got that perfect and perfect like jewel. Looking great. A little bit of pyramiding. Um, I feel like all the albinos kind of start out slightly pyramided, but this new growth is coming in super smooth. Let's see, where are you? Jules, baby, you are, of course, you're in the very back. Look how absolutely massive she is. She's about six months old right now, just blowing up like a bowling ball. Look at that new growth. Just doing phenomenal. And look at the size of uh, these he head albinos we have. Very similar size to her. Don't want to drop them, but absolutely massive bowling balls. I got a couple holdbacks um, this year, but guys, doing phenomenal. I still have a couple albinos left. Not a lot, actually, because I'm holding back some. We sold a bunch, and then I have a couple that are going out next week, I believe. But guys, we hatched baby chickens, and the best part about it is I had no idea we were going to even do it. This is going to be the wrap-up on today's video. One of my hens hatched out babies. I didn't even realize she was kind of missing because of all this grass is so thick. I didn't realize she hadn't been going inside the hutch at night. And if you listen closely, you'll be able to hear her babies. Here she is. And she's a very good mom, very defensive. But you guys can hear the babies there. See, she's very defensive. Super cute little babies. I'll post the video right here of when I first found them. We got them some water set up, fed them, and this is a nice protected area. They can't get out of and nothing can get into because last time we hatched a baby, it disappeared after a couple weeks and I think the neighbor's cat got it. But guys, this is going to be a wrap on today's video. Trees are all getting massive. Again, look at the size of this mulberry tree. It's, it's really hard to do justice. It's got to be 12 feet tall now. And look at the size of these leaves. Super great tortoise food. But guys... If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe. I'm gonna be posting more videos. I'm gonna at least try and get you something out at least once a week. Um, Animal Con was phenomenal. I'll give a quick recap video on that here soon or on Instagram or something. But I appreciate you guys. Sorry for the lapse of videos. We're gonna have more coming out to you soon. Peace.